Mink is a tool for previewing, tagging, organizing, and even editing your media. Mink will be installed on your system automatically when you install the full version or an update. You can open Mink independently of EDIUS and prepare your videos or still images there for further editing in EDIUS. There is a detailed tutorial for Mink available for free. The storyboard function allows you to quickly edit short sequences with ease. To do so, first you have to create a new storyboard in the Mink library by clicking on the appropriate button. Choose a name for your storyboard and then add video clips or still images by drag and drop. Open your storyboard. Now, all the added clips will be displayed as a form of film roll. To review your footage in more detail, you can activate Preview. To edit a short film, first you have to get the clips in the correct order. You can shift the clips by drag and drop. Play a clip in the Preview window or scroll through it until you find a good starting point. With the control bar on the left and right, you can define in and out points, or simply hit the I and O button on your keyboard. This way, you can trim the clip's length. If you edit still images, you only have one control bar on the right side to adjust the duration of the image, or you can press the O key. After you have finished your storyboard and trimmed the footage, you can export the film. To do so, go to the Storyboard Settings. Under Format, you can choose the resolution and frame rate for your exported film. For optimal export quality, the frame rate should match the frame rate of the original footage. Then, click the Export button. The Export function will use the Intel QuickSync video technology if it is available on your system. If you want the exported film to be registered in the Mink library as well, you have to activate the appropriate checkbox. Otherwise, simply click Export. Choose a location to save the file to. By default, the name of the storyboard will be suggested as a file name. You can play the exported film in any media player or edit it further, even outside of Mink. It will be a standard H.264 file. If you wish to edit the storyboard in EDIUS, there is an easy way to do so. Simply open any project in EDIUS and go to the source browser. Here, the folder structure of Mink is shown. If you want to edit your storyboard in Mink once again, just right click on it in the source browser and choose Show in Mink. Now you can edit the storyboard. For example, you can change the order, or add new cuts. Then go back to EDIUS. Right click on the Mink folder in the source browser to refresh. Now the changes will be shown. To import your storyboard from Mink into EDIUS, right click on the storyboard and choose Add and Transfer to Bin. The storyboard will be registered as a timeline sequence in the Mink Storyboard Bin subfolder. The clips will be added to the EDIUS bin as well as copied into the EDIUS project folder on your hard drive. In the bin window, the clips are displayed in a subfolder which takes the name of your storyboard. Open the storyboard by double clicking on it. The whole sequence will be displayed on the timeline now. Here, you can edit the storyboard in EDIUS as usual. You can, for example, add color correction, filters, titles, transitions, and new tracks. Make sure that the imported storyboard has the same frame rate as the EDIUS project setting. Click here for the next podcast. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. You can find more tips and tricks in our EDIUS podcast. Visit edius.net for more information about EDIUS, plugins, tutorials and the latest downloads.